Located in the Alberta heartland, the Northwest Redwater Sturgeon Refinery is the first greenfield refinery to be built in Canada in over 30 years. The first phase of the refinery will process 79,000 barrels per day of diluent bitumen blend, producing low carbon, high value retail products for Alberta and global markets. At Sturgeon, Fleur provided a comprehensive and integrated project approach with responsibility for feed, detailed engineering, procurement, fabrication, construction, and pre-commissioning for three units, specifically Unit 10 for crude and vacuum, Unit 20 for low carbon finer, and Unit 30 for hydro processing. During front end engineering, Fleur worked closely with NWR to drive capital efficiency. Fleur's innovative third gen modular execution technology facilitated a smaller site footprint design, reducing overall cost. Fleur fabricated 358 modules. One third were assembled by Fleur's Supreme Modular Fabrication Facility in Edmonton. The modules arrived on site complete with piping, mechanical equipment, electrical, and instrumentation installed. Fleur executed the largest land lift in Canadian history and the fourth largest in the company's 100 year history with the successful raising of the 1,350 ton cracking reactor. The refinery is Fleur's largest construction project in Canada, with over 5 million craft hours on site and 2,300 workers at peak. Fleur Constructors Canada, as part of the integrated approach, engaged the Alberta Building Trades to provide all the mechanical operations from iron workers and pipe fitters to scaffolders and electricians, providing skilled craft experience in Fleur's construction processes and safety commitment. Construction innovations on the project included the use of symmetrics, which reduced the underground pipe elevations and reduced the civil dirt work required. Construction advances also incorporated an engineered scaffolding solution into the 3D modeling and fully implemented Fleur's advanced work phase planning which set a new construction industry benchmark for Time on Tools productivity. The Sturgeon refinery was designed from the onset to convert a CO2 liability into an asset. By utilizing the Alberta Carbon trunk line, the CO2 will be transported to the mature fields and injected underground to force remaining oil to the surface, while the CO2 stays permanently trapped. Capturing CO2 from each phase of the Sturgeon refinery is equivalent to removing 300,000 cars from the road each year. Through innovation, Northwest Redwater and Fleur are commercializing a new era of sustainable energy solutions in Canada.